Well, here we are. The last episode, unless there's like bonus levels above me or something, which I really doubt. Uh, these are the last set of levels. Get the hell out of my way. Divided. You know, I'm, I'm kind of sad this is going to end because I'm having so much fun breaking these things. How often do I get a shitty game that I can just uh, pick apart constantly without any problems, to, without like any good things to it? Not very often. So, a little sad about that. Can I... Toss this somewhere else. I mean, there's this here. I have no idea why this is sitting out here. There's no way to get up there. Okay. And it's not like I can actually drag it through. This, since it's, uh... Unless I can jump over it. No, not high enough. Well, just stay there for now. Let's go on the other side. Oh, I see. So the section that I was like, oh, there's nowhere I can go to that. With the cube that I set down over there. I can actually go over there? Because I can walk along the... Okay, I was, about, I was about to say. It looked like I could just walk to the end. But I could just walk along this. And uh, if I would have set the cube down there, I could have grabbed it. If I could set the cube there, I could possibly take it somewhere else. I mean, if I just throw it over there somewhere, yeah, but... Eh, okay. Okay, two things. One, is it just me, or does this turn, like, a full 45 degrees in one thing, which I've never done that, besides, like, a few other puzzles? Second thing, I just realized... Can I just walk across that? Like, if I get the cube and I can hop up in there and then hop around it and hop around it, could I just leave? I'm going to try without the cube first, but uh, definitely going to try with the cube after. Oh my god. Didn't even need a cube. That, that's the most broken one of all. That, that really is, because all I have to do is just angle the laser into that side over there. I just walk along. I don't even need the cube. I just wasted my time. I could have been out of here five minutes ago. Peninsula. Okay, give me one cube and I'll be out of here. That's all I need. Were you giving me a cube? I know you have one lying around here somewhere. You always do that. Oh, this stupid thing again? Come on, that wasn't even clever. How far back does this drop? And where is it dropping at? What is the point of that? I, I don't understand. But I'm going to get out of here. So, and you all can understand what I'm about to do. So it's just a matter of time until it works. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just figured out the cubes sort of do have physics. But only whenever you're right up against the wall with them, you can push them a little bit. So I just rolled it and just jumped up. And obviously that was just to get a second cube, which was... I just had to toss over and easily leave. But I did it my own way. So this level is called Bolt. I completely zoned out because I realized it gave me two cubes right off the bat. So I might be out of here quicker than we think. Fuck doing everything else. I ain't doing anything over there. Does have a button I can throw this up on? Uh, it's a laser connection. Damn it. Yeah, it doesn't work with two, does it? That seems way too high. Yeah. Damn. Here, I thought I could leave. I guess I do have to do this one. The first one I actually have to do out of the three we played so far.
Man, that last one was boring. This one's called Perch. Yes, you go into the rock. The square rock. Yes, what do you do? Oh. Oh, you go down. Okay. It's hard to tell whenever you're just staring at it like this. You can't tell it's going up or down. Alright, how can we cheat this? Is that where the exit is? Of course it is. You have a second cube I got I can get somewhere? Because that's all I need. Don't need anything else in this map. Actually. Oh, it's over there. But, uh... Okay. I don't know if I need that. How low does that go? Oh, that does go... doesn't go as low as I thought it did. Okay. I mean, if I just took this cube with me, I wouldn't have to do anything back there as well. There's no third cube, is there? No. It's just that. I don't know what what all this crap is. But we don't need it. That's for sure. Just put this at a little offset on the next one, and you can hop right up. I can grab that, right? Yeah, of course I can. So now the fun part of how can I cheat this. It is not high enough. Maybe. If it wants to work with me for once, I might be able to get up there, but for the most part, I don't think so. No, don't want to do that. There we go. Simple process to get the other cube for that, which, uh, let's see, in reality. Oh, it was a collectible. Fuck that. That we didn't need to do that area, whatever that was for, and we only needed to go up to throw that cube over. We didn't need this section whatsoever, besides me trying to cheat it by jumping across. This one is called Stair. Is there a button over here, perhaps? Or I have to break this connection? Like that. Okay. Where is that exit, though? That's what I'd like to see. I want to see how to get out of here. Come on, where's that exit at? It's going to lift this up. It's going to get me across. What does that do? Oh, it's a single move. Okay. Didn't even know that was there until I stepped on it, honestly. It also... Oh, yeah, it blocks that connection. Yeah, that makes sense. Now let me grab this cube, because I'm pretty sure I'm leaving. What's behind here? Nothing? Nothing, okay. That... Unless I use this cube at the very end just to hop up a little ledge, which, you know, I imagine that would be the thing, considering how this has gone so far. Oh, we just put it on here. That's all we do. And that brings it back? Yeah. Nice. Why are you always in my way? Get out of my way. I don't even know what purpose you serve, besides floating back and forth in the same two little slots of path you have. Contraption. So, as usual, we get a cube right in front of us. And we just go and grab on the other side. 
Okay. No. Yeah, I was gonna say, I wonder if I just have to stand here and move these over. Is it gonna go back? No, it just stops. Well, that's pretty easy. Yeah, I would just grab the cube, set the cube here. That was the one, right? Yep. Let that go all the way over. Lift this up, right? Is it was it this one? Yeah, what does that do? What does this one do? Okay. I'm not quite sure what the hell that's for. Couldn't how far does this push out? No, 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 not this one, this one. How much does this push out? You know. Hold on. If I push this back... Could I slide this off? Step on that again? Oh, I missed it. Did I miss or did it kill it? Wait. How would that kill it? Or did it just push it to the side? Oh, no, it's inside it. Okay, cool. <sighs> Let's try this again. Will you push now? No, you're still just going to be inside the thing. Cool. Great. Now you went too far. Fantastic. Okay. Please don't go through it again. Push it. Are you serious? Hey, look, look, look. I don't make this up. It's literally going through that. There is nothing. That is not a solid object, whatever that thing is jutting out. How do you... Oh, Once again, I'm speechless at how bad this is. Wait, can I drag this back and forth then? Is that is there literally no purpose to that? Do I need to not have... What? <laughs> Wait. Okay. It might be grabbable, since how close it is to the edge over there if I walk around. But what? Excuse me, what? Please, just let me, just let me grab. Let me grab, please. Can you go any further off the edge before you tumble over? No. Oh, put me right back here. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Please reset me. Yeah, there we go. Segmentation. How can I cheat this? Oh, I had to throw that over. Okay, well, I guess I can't cheat it yet. Once you give me more cubes, though, I'll be able to. Oh, I just need one. Hmm. I could totally toss that up. I could totally toss that up over there if I get another cube. Because this is just right to the end, right? No other obstacles? Yeah. There is that over there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. I don't know if that actually landed on there and rolled off, or if it just fell right through, like, last map. Alright, what if I just put you, like, in here, for now? 
Just to see what happens, because I guarantee I'll have to go back anyways. For some stupid reason. I mean, I could just throw it over and then... Yeah, I don't see the problem here. Alright. And then just throw it up on the button. Or at least just throw it up here for now. Just... Just leave. What? Just... It, was that how it's supposed to be done? I really doubt it. Because... What is the point of, uh... That thing? If all I had to do was just toss it over the wall. Well, I mean, I guess I couldn't toss it over the wall. I just put it through the fucking gap. Okay. <laughs> that was really badly done. Like, that is... Oh my god. That's not even necessary. That's not necessary. You made the walls too low and you put a fucking gap in there that I can just easily plop the cube on the other side, toss it over the, the low-hanging laser, walk through the laser, toss it up here, and leave. There's no way that's supposed to be done like that. This one is called the wall. Okay. Put this here, give me a cube. Is there another cube back here somewhere? I know you're hiding one. Yep, there it is. Every time. Every time. What's the point of that, if I could just put it through the, the gap in the window? Please tell me that's not what was intended, because that's really bad. Wait, what is... Where's the exit at? I gotta see where the exit's at first, before I continue on with this. Okay, so I can't toss that over there. Yet. So we have to go past this wall thing and then set one on here, which is the end? Yes, okay. Can't throw it over there. Can't put it through here because there's. I could put it through here. So if I can get it on this side, which there's probably no way I can jump over that. Unless. Hmm. Oh, that just goes all the way down. I could just set it there, and then... Or could I... You gotta be kidding me. I only need one cube. One cube. Actually, I might not need one cube. Two cubes, just to, just to be able to reach over there. Actually, you know what? I could probably... Let's see if I made that one over there. Nah. Although I don't know if it bounced off of the cube that was already there and fell in or not, but it seems like that's doable with a couple tries with only one cube. But yeah. What's the point of closing this window off if you're just gonna have this one open? Come on, go in there. There you go. What's back here with this stuff? You know, maybe if you explained this in some way, I, I would understand what that's there for. But since it rarely shows up, I was expecting it to creep up more as you went up through the maps, but... Revolve. Hmm, that's going at a considerable speed. No, come on. I can land on that. fuck out of here with that. It's so bad. Oh my god. And then it just stops. No. Please don't be the end. Okay. We dodged a bullet there, guys. We, I really thought that was going to be the end. Oh, there's another cube there. What do I need for the end? Why so many cubes? Is that laser connection the thing that's doing that? Is that what's closing the door? Oh yeah, it is what's closing the door. Damn. And here I thought I could leave. I mean, technically I can once I stack these up over there. It's just going to take a while.
What a throw. What a throw that was. <laughs> okay. Now, uh... Where's the other cube that I had? Oh yeah, it's around here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, I was thinking... What if I just threw it from... There, and just jumped over? Yeah, okay. Much easier than what I had in mind. Really? I can't even walk into the other puzzle? It's like, you oh, come on. I didn't even go inside that. And I, I really have to do this again? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, shit. That's right. There's no exit to menu. There's just exit the game completely. So, uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Last one. Kind of sad this is going to be the end because I've had so much fun breaking it. 99.72%. Installation L. At least you went all out for the final one. I'll give you that. Where's the exit so I can cheat this right away and leave? <laughs> oh, there's the exit. So on this long walk back I have to do to angle this laser, let's think about something for a second. We were never told at all, not through uh, storytelling with notes or any type of indication at all, what those little rover things are that hover around. We have not been told anything about what the little tentacle things that pop up randomly in the maps are along the edges sometimes. And there's no, I don't know why there's no explanation for that. It wouldn't hurt to just like put a paragraph or two lying around in a note or some sort of data pad. It seems very simple to just add in. I mean, if you can make these, I'm sure you could, you know, do other things in this game. Because I don't think, you know, I don't think puzzle making is really your thing. Oh, great, it's one of these things again. Yeah, I'm sure that'll work great. Took me a second to realize what the hell that was. Cube? Oh, of course, it's up there. You know, if I could just get those inside here, I could be able to leave. You know, I wish there was, like, a tool, something like this, like a map creator that we could use ourselves, because I guarantee I know at least three people off the top of my head that could make maps thousand times better than whatever this is. Given these tools. Even with these basic tools, we could still make something interesting. Damn, I really wish... Hold on, wait, can I... I forget, was it two or three cubes I needed to climb over that? Might only be one. Or it might only be two. If I can get it to work. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Even one will do at this point. But I can probably grab the other one, right? No, I guess not. You know what? One's fine. Let's see what one can do. If I can... Will I even be able to get that over? Hold on, wait. I might. There's a collectible there, but fuck that. I'm trying to bank this off in a way that I can grab it whenever I go through. so I don't lose it. And we'll try that again. 
Of course. Of course you would. I was so close to... Well, I wasn't really gonna... Well, I could have left, actually. Yeah, I could have just knocked that off and then... Damn. Could have been out of here. Oh, wait. Can I just grab that? Okay. Let's try this again. First side worked. Let's see if I can do this. Actually, this one I can just throw here. I don't know what I was trying to do before with that. Now let's throw this against here. Even on your final map, you still managed to break it. Good job. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not where you said you were going to go, but... Let me knock you back in real quick. Do a little hop with that, that'll fix it. So before we leave, I would just like to guess what the ending's going to be. And by that I mean there's probably going to be a zero ending, or it's just going to have a the end at the very end of the uh, levels here once I get through this. Oh, you just put me back at the beginning. Okay. Any particular reason why? Okay, wait, no, yeah, I am in somewhere else. I just went through the portal that they gave us in the beginning. Okay, there's... The button here, what does that do? Oh my god, there's a cutscene! No way. I can't believe you actually put a cutscene in. Man, even the fading out was painful. It's painfully slow. Um, okay, so... Quick suggestion of this. Please tell me I didn't reset everything. I had an idea as that cutscene was playing, because it was 
kind of boring. I feel like, one, that was the player camera that you just took away the reticle and uh, flew around with because it made the same underwater sound that whenever I die. But what a cool concept would have been for this is that like at each 10th level or, you know, each tiered level, you restored a different part of land and that took you to a different setting. You know, like you collected little pieces. Those little pieces you collected uh, as like secrets should have been things you collect at the end of levels and you piece together land, which would then bring a new piece of land in. You go there, it's different setting, go there. You know, they're out there. Instead of just doing the same tower thing, 50 levels of insanely easy breakable tests, it was... Uh, not enjoyable from playing it as it is perspective, but for breaking it, man, I had a lot of fun breaking it, I'm not gonna lie. This is like a special hell episode. But with that, I'm done for today. I will have a review of this game. I know it's a new thing for me. Uh, out sometime next week, along with a written review that goes up right at the same time on the Steam Workshop page. I think you can understand whether it's gonna get a thumbs up or a thumbs down from me. But yeah, I'm done for today, and I'll see you next time.